Alright, I guess let's just get started. I'm kind of just playing with makeup today. I don't really have a certain look in mind, but I do have some newer products from MAC, not necessarily new to their collections, but new to me. I was browsing their website and I saw some things that either I have always seen and been interested in or just some things that I thought would be cool to play around with, some different kind of stuff that I have already. So yeah, uh, I'm going to start out with this strobe cream. This is the peach light one from MAC. Pretty much everything I'll be using is from MAC except for maybe some brows and mascara, but I'm just going to take this. I have used their original strobe cream before. That's like the pink light, I believe they call it now. They have a gold one, a red one, and I think a silver. So I'm just going to put this all over my face. It's a really, really pretty kind of like dewy, um, reflective primer, and it does have like slight color into it. Um, they recommend the peach for medium to dark skin tones, but I find it works fine on me. It doesn't really do much. I also have a little bit of a darker foundation today because I don't have a shade that matches me exactly, so hopefully the peach will give me a little bit extra bronze. And speaking of foundation, I'm going to go in with the MAC Face and Body. It has been a hot minute since I've used this, and this is really what I went on MAC's website to get. So this is a foundation that like is easily mixed together with other things. It is a pretty light coverage. I'm going to go in with my hands at first and then kind of just perfect everything with the Beauty Blender. Ignore my little huge friend right here. Yeah, this foundation is a little dark. It's the shade N2. Um, I have been rocking a little bit of a fake tan lately. So I wanted to get it in that color, but I just did my hair yesterday, I retouched my roots, and whenever I have like fresh bleached, like icy, icy hair because the toner is like super fresh, I don't like to tan because I feel like it looks kind of strange. It looks kind of not my style. So that's it with my hands. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more and kind of pounce it on my face with my beauty blender. I really love this foundation. I think my love for this started um, in high school, so about four years ago, four to five years ago. I don't know how old I am, but um, I really got into this once I saw a video of a couple people actually did videos like this. I saw Samantha Ravindel's video about how she, I think she had a makeup artist from the brand Bite who did like a light coverage look on her and at the time she was struggling with acne and she was super nervous about um, any kind of light coverage because she, like most of us think, was like, no, I have problem skin, I need full coverage and she did a video all about how amazing her makeup looked and kind of showing how starting with the lighter coverage to just even everything out and then going in with something heavier to just cover those problem spots actually ends up making a more perfect base rather than putting on a full coverage foundation over top of everything and making your already good skin look perfect and then it just like kind of points out the spots that aren't so that's really when my love for this started and I really like it. It's a really nice, like, dewy, natural, um, light coverage foundation. It can be built quite a bit, and it can be mixed with things. I really like to use it like that. I think I'm going to keep it pretty natural today, and I do have some concealer that I'm going to try. I've never tried. This is the Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. I got the shade Light, and it, what, basically what it has is, um, their Studio Fix Concealer in the shades NC15, NC20. NC15, W10, NC20, NW20, and then they have corrector shades in pale yellow and pale pink. I was just really interested in this. I've never tried their Studio, um, what is it, Studio Fix Concealer. So I have been looking into trying that because I know it's a little bit more of like a lighter, natural concealer. And I saw this palette and I was like, hmm, might as well just get that. So I'm going to look for a little brush. I'm actually going to take this little pencil brush. This is from Jaclyn Hill's Morphe Collection. And I am going to take, I think first I'm going to go in with the pink shade, the little corrector. And I'm just going to kind of put this on my little dark spots under my eye. My mirror is right here, by the way. If you're annoyed that I keep looking off camera, that's why. 
Um, but yeah, you guys know I really liked my Becca under eye corrector, so kind of wanted to try this. I tried it a little bit yesterday, and so far so good, so I was pretty happy with it. I guess I'm going to try my sponge with it first to kind of blend it out. Okay, yeah, I think that did a pretty good job correcting. Hopefully you guys can see. Let me know how the lighting is. I've been trying around, playing around with my new like backdrop and lighting situation. And I know there's kind of shadows in the back, but I'm really trying my best to fix that and just to make it look good. So let me know if you can. Please comment about how the lighting is, if it's like distracting or if it's better. I feel like the quality looks a lot better with this new kind of setup. So I'm hoping it kind of works and everyone's happy with it. Next I'm going to take the shade NC20, which is right, or I'm actually going to take NW20 I think, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to kind of add this as more of a concealer rather than a corrector. I'm going to kind of do it in the upward shape like I've been doing. And I'm going to also take this and kind of cover any of my little friends here. I'm really liking this concealer so far. It seems like a nice formula. Um, I don't have, I feel like my concealers are my smallest collection in my makeup collection. So I've been interested in trying some new ones. So if you have one that you really like, feel free to comment it down below. I've recently got the Kosa's um, concealer from Sephora. And I'm hoping to really like that. It's supposed to be really creamy and brightening. So I will probably try that out in a video soon. But comment down below any concealers that you've been loving. Uh, I've pretty much been using my MAC Pro Longwear all the time. So. Alright, I feel like the base is looking really nice and like... Not like perfected, but I feel like it looks super nice and just like I'm comfortable with it like this. So, what is next? Next, I'm going to start and quickly do my bronzer. I don't have a MAC product for that, so I probably will just zoom right through this. If you're interested though, I am going to be using the Fenty bronzer in Buda Vista. The cream. Alright, bronzer is applied. I'm not going to go in with powder today because I want to keep this kind of dewy skin-like finish. So I am just going to skip straight to blush. I think I'm just going to complete all my face makeup today and then do the eyes. So I'm going to go in with MAC Peaches. I know this is a, an oldie but a goodie, but I've never tried it. So I have kind of wanted it all these years and I've just never like gotten around to picking it up. I feel like MAC is just like... I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I get into like my groove of like what places I like to shop at and what places I like to online shop at. And I feel like MAC is just like never the place. Obviously, I'm doing a lot of online shopping um, just because of the world and everything. And I feel like I'm just like super comfortable placing orders at Sephora and Ulta and things like that. So I don't really get along around to shopping a lot of MAC, um, at least their full collection. I know Ulta has some of their products on their website but not all of them um so yeah i've always wanted to try this oh it's gorgeous just what i thought it's just a really pretty matte peach blush it's like the og peach blush i'm pretty sure and i'm just gonna be applying that pretty heavily i think i'm kind of thinking i'm having more of an interesting eye look today and i kind of want to be all blushy for that so we'll see i'm just gonna kind of put it everywhere honestly all right love that and then I don't have a highlighter today so I think I'm just gonna go in with my MAC warm soul um this has a little bit of luminosity to it so I think I'm just going to go ahead and kind of apply this on top more for like a sheen All right. For eye primer today, I'm going in with my Holy Grail MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm just going to apply it with my finger. This is really perfect for um, 
kind of blanking out your eyelid for any kind of eye look and I have some interesting colors today so I really want my eyes to be primed and kind of blanked out and ready for anything. All right, for eyes, I have something that I'm super excited about, and this is the Pro Eye Palette in the shade The Dame. So I have probably been looking at uh, Max Cream eyeshadow palettes since I was in high school, and I just always, like, they always intrigued me for some reason. I thought the colors were really interesting. The concept of premium eyeshadows is super interesting to me. I actually... Stay tuned for other videos because I have so many cream eyeshadows coming in. I have Halsey's makeup line about face. I have Auric Beauty from Samantha Rabindal. I got some of the Smashbox Cosmetics uh, cream eyeshadows. Like, I'm going cream eyeshadow crazy, apparently. I didn't even notice that when I was, like, buying it, everything individually. But, yeah, I got this palette. And to me, these are just, like, rainy day kind of, like, desert tones. And I thought they were so beautiful. And they are all cream shadows. I've never used a matte cream shadow, so I am interested to see how this plays out. But I'm super excited. I think I am going to do a look probably with more of, like, the blues eventually. But I think I'm going to stick with more of, like, the neutrals. These really scream, like, desert kind of, like, earth tones. And I'm loving it. So, yeah, let's just kind of see how this goes. I'm not familiar with this formula, so I might not be great at applying them at first but I'm gonna go in with this first color here it's more of like just a beige color and I need a mirror I'm gonna be applying that all over I think something I really liked about cream shadows is I like how you can just really get a beautiful one shade look from them I feel like when I'm on the go and I don't really want to sit down and do my eyeshadow or put on a primer or anything, I can just take like a cream bronzer or a cream shadow and just pop it on and it'll look really good. So this shade is pretty close. Sorry. This shade looks pretty close to my skin tone. Um, they are really creamy. I can probably apply them with my fingers. I think I might try the next shade with my fingers rather than a brush I'm kind of just gonna like feather it out yeah this is pretty close to like my skin tone shade a little bit darker but not much it's just like a nice beige kind of more of a cool toned beige so I'm gonna next take the shade right here um they do have shade names on the back but I don't know which is which so hmm I think I'm actually going to take, let's see, let's see. I'm going to take this brush. It's a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush. It's more of like a flat shader. And I'm going to take that second shade right there. This is definitely more of like a khaki color. I'm going to apply this on my lid. Not really sure what I'm doing here, but I'm kind of winging it. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like a brown, but it's just a little bit more like tacky olive. Almost just like a hint of those tones with like a natural brown base. Really pretty. These are applying super nice. They are um, like pretty tacky, so I don't know how they will crease or like transfer. But I'm pretty okay with that. When I'm doing looks like this, I'm kind of going in... Um, more of like a natural carefree direction so I don't really mind like any kind of creasing I think that's just like natural with shadows like this especially creams and I really just like the colors so I want to give this a shot oh I really like how that's looking so far it really basic like this is not a right left this is not a revolutionary eye tutorial in any way, but I don't know. I'm really liking it. All right, next, I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is kind of like a kind of like a chocolate raspberry color. It's like a really, really deep red or like a chocolatey brown. And I'm going to take it on a little 
uh, angled eyeliner brush. This one's from Essence. These ones are amazing. They're two dollars and they're like so fine and really amazing for kind of some more detail eyeliner work. I'm going to take that shade here and I'm going to do a winged. Oh. Okay, so these are super creamy. So it's not the easiest. Mm. Okay. Give me a minute. I'll come back. All right, I am back. Um, I went ahead and did my brows and mascara just because I didn't have any MAC products for that. Um, I attempted to do a wing with that kind of like burgundy cream shade. Um, I wouldn't recommend these cream shadows for kind of like detail work like that just because they are super emollient. So it was hard to get a really clean, crisp line because I felt like they just kept smudging with the brush. Um, the easy thing about that is though is they easily kind of just like wipe away and let you start again just because they are really creamy um but yeah I so far I liked this palette I really love that like desert khaki color I think it looks so pretty under my eyes I applied it but yeah I really liked that I think it's definitely more of like an interesting way to go about eyeshadow and I think I'll definitely like it for more like natural everyday looks but I think I could definitely incorporate some other things. Stay tuned I probably will do a look more in detail using this with like more of those blue shades. Um, but I think it's just like a good way for me to get creative. Um, like I said this is just a product that's always caught my eye so I really liked it. Um, next I guess is lips and... I have quite a few options here. I didn't know what what I was going to end up doing. So let's see. I have this shade, which is Love Me Back by MAC. Um, it's just one of their matte shades. It's more of like a nude color. Then I also have this. I don't think I've used this in a tutorial yet, but I've had this for a while. This is one of their Powder Kiss lipsticks in the shade Mull It Over. It's more of like a peachy. I think I might try this. I don't know if it's exactly going to match, but I think I'm going to try this. I cannot find my MAC lip liner anywhere, so we're just going to straight from the tube. finish it off I am just going to take a little bit more of that peach light strobe cream just a tiny bit and I'm just going to dab it on top of my cheekbones I just want a little bit more glow and on the center of my nose and on my cupid's bow I cut my hair and I'm still getting used to it so hopefully it looks cute I'm kind of feeling like Ugh, about it but yeah, that is my complete full face of MAC. Obviously, there were a couple little adjustments I had to make. But, oh, yeah, these shadows crease. It's fine, though. They wipe off easily. Um, but, yeah, I had fun. I really enjoyed some of the products that I had already tried. And it was fun to try some new things as well. Really, really liked the concealer palette. Um, I kind of, after I bought it, I was like, oh, that was probably a little bit much that I bought, like, a whole palette worth. But I think it'll come really in handy, especially for traveling whenever we're allowed to do that again. Um, but I think it's really nice. Like, I'll keep this definitely just in my bathroom as one of, like, my go-to products just to kind of, like, apply with my fingers really quick if I need a quick cover-up and don't feel like doing the whole shebang. So, yeah, that is it for my full face of MAC, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and everything will be linked down below, the products that I used. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.